Hey guys, welcome to another beer review here at FLX Beer Reviews, and I am Dan. I am Mike. And Dan. today we are going to visit a beer from the other half brewing company. This is Watching the Grass Grow, or Watching Grass Grow. This is a Vienna Lager coming in at 5.2 ABV, canned on date 3-29-2021, and mine says it's still on boy. Still lawn boy. Uh, as far as Brown I know, the fish while we drink this. Styrian Golding hops and Tetninger. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. I just butchered it. I don't care. I don't even know what those hops are. So <laughs> for all I know, you just pronounced them so correctly. It's unbelievable. I know. I could be like the hop guru of pronunciations. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's crack her open. All right. Picked this up the other day when we uh, stopped by to uh, partake in Citra Week. At least pick up some beers. And saw oh, this, and why the hell not? It was at a decent price point. I think it was like 14 bucks for a four-pack. So, But for lager, we'll see. I left myself no room. <laughs> Dude, what'd you do? I just saw you. You cheated. I you got a taste. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Yeah, it tastes terrible. Okay. <laughs> review over. Yeah, review over. Okay. Uh, clear beer, of course. That's a lager. Pretty clear. Yep. Uh, I would say it's a bit darker than some lagers I've had. What about you? Uh, it's looking like that that coppery amber color I like to see from a lager. Okay. All right. Yeah, you probably got a little bit more experience with lagers. Than I do pills and possible. Lagers. I've got, uh, I mean, I've got like rich, almost two fingers, creamy head on top. I mean, it looks good. Pass okay. the eye test. Yeah, I mean, I mean, mine's not quite there, but to be fair, I didn't. I don't know. Do you got any left in your can or? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. No, it, it it looks it looks appetizing. Looks delicious. It does. It does. Is appetizing the word for beer? It's like, sure. When you want beer? Okay. Yeah, well, absolutely. I got an appetite right. for beer. <laughs> All right, let's get a whiff on it. All right. <sighs> I'll let you go out. You might have to. I'm not getting much. Okay. So I'll take over because Mike just clearly is uh, not a professional. Uh I I don't even know if this is a professional <laughs> beer, so this could be no, a uh this a comes shelfie. off very biscuity. You getting I'm getting a little bit of sweet. A little bit of sweetness, a little malt, if you will. Um honestly I I'm lost for a descriptor. I'm not used to this. this okay. It's not in my wheelhouse. Um it smells almost like what the hell is it? Like when you open up like a box of like wheat thins. Really? It's to me that's what it's coming off of. Because you get that sweetness, but then you get that wheat, like a crackery. Oh man. I don't know if it's because you mentioned it or what, but that's what I'm getting now. Sweet. I'm getting sweet thins. Sweet thins. There you go. Yeah, that's what this smells like. All right, Finally. tell you awesome. what, let's just taste it because we're not going to yeah. help anybody with our nose nor descriptors. Not at, at all, point. let's just dive in. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. Okay. That's smooth. It's very smooth. Like insanely smooth. I wasn't expecting and it to be that smooth. Not a lot of carbonate. Like there's carbonation, but there there's bubbles, but there is not a lot of carbonation at all. Like the mouthfeel is so pillowy and so soft. It's it's weird. You almost get that uh that same mouthfeel within like you know your IPAs with like the lactose and oats, like 
it's it's coats your tongue. It's like a, a a velvet, a velvety ride over your tongue, and then right on the back. Following that, you get that sweetness that you know we thought was going to be there based off the nose. And I, go ahead. I'm getting, it's I'm getting that sweetness mm-hmm. and the the sweet thinny part. It, it's honestly it's finishing a little dry. Well, I don't know if you're getting that, but I'm getting a good swirl, and that's what I'm doing. That's what proper glassware will do. Yeah, I'm. Everything is very subtle. In yeah, this. It, it's a very subtle beer. There's there's nothing offensive about it. There's nothing not that all. just smacks you in the face. It's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. It's not too malty. It's mm-hmm. like a really good blend. I got to get back to that mouthfeel. I can't get past the mouthfeel. Okay. Honestly, this mouthfeel is what sets this lager apart from most lagers that I have had, or I prefer this. I prefer this over a traditional, let's say. Or like a, a traditional, like crisp carbonated lager. Yeah. This, this has the smoothness of, uh, like over in England, like they have the, you know, the brew, brew pub beer, you know, you got your like Boddington's and all that, all the beers on nitro or, or stuff, mm-hmm. but, but they're smooth or like an old speckled hen, right? Oh man, you're going back. All right. Yeah. I could ah. slam this all freaking day, dude. And the body, the body is a medium body for the ABV. Like it's not super thin. Mm hmm. I'm telling you, Mike, I'm freaking enjoying this, dude. Okay. I'm loving it. I like it. I think the the subtle flavors, the smoothness in the body is good. It's just finishing a bit dry. You know, as soon as I took a sip of this, my first reaction in my mind, I was like, oh, traditional Mike, he is not going to like this new school (laughs) lager one bit. I freaking see right through you, bub. Okay. Well, I can see through the beer too. That's, that's probably what you're well, getting. Yeah, it's at. a lager. You're supposed to. I look ah. through it. I'm just seeing flavor, mouthfeel, softness. I would gladly pick up another four pack of this again. And I think, in turn, um, by me saying that, mm-hmm. damn, dude, I'm going to give this a four. Okay. Yeah, that's my score. I'm giving it a four. Okay, I'll uh, I'll give it a three, two, five. Okay, I'm disappointed just... in that score. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No. no, you're not. It was uh, in your mind. It was to be expected. So we're we're drinking this fairly cold. I'd like to see, you know, a lager is not traditionally a beer that you would let warm up, but. Being that this is like a brew pub style, I don't know if something more will come out of it or if it'll grow. Uh, me and Mike split a four pack, so I have another can. Mike has another can. I can't wait to visit this one again and maybe see if something changes. You know, mm-hmm. I'll play around with the temperature a little bit. Um, yeah, I wouldn't I mind mean, seeing what uh what this would do. Maybe in uh maybe in a regular fridge temperature, get it real cold. See what it does? Yeah. yeah. I'd be curious to find out. I was hoping you wouldn't be curious to find out and just give me your other can because, you know, that's what friends do. But, yeah. That is sometimes what friends do. Other friends aren't as generous and need to make room in their fridge so they accidentally pour it down the toilet or the sink or some such thing. But I don't think I'm that friend. Oh, I can just see it like I knew. I knew about other half. And the mm. gypsy juice. It is still gypsy juice. It but is. it's not as not as bad. No. Uh bottom line, this is not at all what I expected it to be. I expected a crispy boy. You will? Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely this is an unexpected unexpected beer. Yeah. Uh so. we started out a little rough. We're trying some new beers out. Uh the beer patrol kind of gave us a neat idea. Try some beers out of the wheelhouse, or maybe Mike drinks this, and maybe I don't like it. Maybe I can try and like it. You know, just to see 
you know, test our boundaries and stuff. And I thought it was a great idea. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Absolutely. Um, that beer patrol with his fancy ideas. Right. Uh, down in the description below, Twitter, Instagram, untapped, uh, email, maybe, I don't know, whatever. You can connect with us. If you can't get a hold of us, it's probably your own fault because we have given you all the tools, if you will. Might be for their own good. But, <laughs> probably. You know. All right. All right. Uh, we got to get out of here. Thanks it's for watching, longer, everyone. <laughs> like a 10-minute video. We always Not do this. this. <laughs> all yeah. right. Cheers.